He has been uh, unbelievable as the head coach there. But now he will be part of the Aztecs staff as uh, their secondary coach. And uh, joining us right now is Richard Sanchez. Coach, uh, congratulations on your new position with the Aztecs. Welcome. You're on with the Cannons. Yeah, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. And go Dons. I mean, go Saints. Oh! oh there you go. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Coach, my young my younger brother is a Saintsman. So, All right, That's yeah. Good. So obviously, yeah. when I was yeah when I was playing at uni, uh, and especially every time the the Charity Bowl is the Holy Bowl, we call it now, rolled around. You know, all the upperclassmen would just give it to him like, oh, you know, we're going to crush your brother. He he better not even right. show up and stuff like that. But there's always been that general respect between people who go to the two schools and they become lifelong friends uh, afterwards. To that point. You know, with your success at Sandy, uh, your success at success at Saints, and a couple of CIF championships, and your 83 wins at the school, the most in, in in school history. Why not stay at Saints? Why why jump now to San Diego State? Was an offer? Was it an offer you couldn't refuse? Well, yes, that too. Uh, Selfishly speaking, uh, you know, it's always been a, a goal and aspiration of mine professionally. Personally, it hadn't worked out. You know, that's why one of the reasons I went back to high school. Uh, I've been in college for 10 years prior to taking the Saints job and uh, wanted to see my son develop a community, um, particularly around Saints. And uh, now that he's in high school, you know, went to every one of his flag football games and Pop Warner games and basketball games. And uh, and, and now this opportunity comes up and you never know if it's ever going to happen again. You know, there are other options for me in the past, but I just felt really comfortable and um, it was motivated and, and challenged at Saints to where, you know, it kept my fire going. So, Nine years in, in one place, my longest stay in, in, in anywhere in uh, my career. Yeah, uh, and of course, staying in San Diego is always good. Always good, Coach. Uh, <laughs> no home, question about that. My hometown, yes. absolutely, yes. I don't have to uproot my wife. She did not want to see another box to pack at all, so uh, she was all for it. Yeah, I, 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 obviously. Now, let's, let's talk a little bit, because this is not your first go-around with San Diego State. You actually had time as a grad assistant there. Yes, very similar situation. You know, I was a high school head coach at San Diego High School and uh, athletic director there for a couple of years. And at the time, I was trying to finish up my master's degree. And obviously, I knew Coach Toner uh, from recruiting past, and he knew I was already admitted to the, the graduate program. And he had a grad assistant job open. So when he called me and offered me the job, I was like, well, I did the same exact thing. Went home and talked to my wife first and got permission. <laughs> And she, she said, well, I'll support this family for two years, but you only have two years. Then you got to go find a full-time job again. So it all worked out. New uh, assistant secondary special teams coach Richard Sanchez with us here for the Aztecs on Extra 1360 Fox Sports San Diego. Coach, you really, and, and, and kudos to you and your staff at Saints, have developed quite the, the pipeline now from Saints to San Diego State. I mean, you look at a kid like Tariq Thompson just this past year, and people are so excited to see what he's going to be able to do in, in the next couple of years. You have a an interesting standpoint, being that you were at the high school level while San Diego State is building this success under Rocky Long. Was it easy to steer kids towards the Aztecs? Yes, hometown. I mean, that's a, one of the things that, you know, growing up in San Diego and playing here in San Diego, I love to watch the guys I've played with or – the guys that I've coached, you know, to play for their hometown in front of their families and, you know, get to go watch some of the Aztecs games. I mean, I've been to more Aztec games lately because of Tariq and some of the other guys that are around. Uh, it's a joy to watch them play in front of their home team and their community. There's nothing more exciting than that, particularly when they initially they say, well, let me go try something new and get out of town. I mean, mm-hmm. that's, that's not what it's about anymore. I mean, everybody wants to stay here and play for a winner. Having been a head coach uh, at this high school level with all the success you had, uh, you know, it's it's different when you're an assistant as being the head guy, no matter what level you're talking about. Rocky Long, uh, obviously, has had tremendous success, and what he has done for this Aztec program cannot be minimized. When you watch what he does on the field and from your own experience as a head coach, do you have some common traits, or are there some things you're still learning from a guy that's been around the corner and, and then some, as he would say, Rocky Long? How do you approach this uh, new working relationship with Rocky? Well, first off, I think what's the, the biggest motivating factor is I, I want to learn again. You know, I've done the same things, you know, nine years in a row, obviously with adjustments and growing, but you can only grow so much within the same system. And so 
having a successful program has a lot to do with the staff that, you know, I, I put myself around and some quality people, obviously some excellent football coaches and dedication to the time and more importantly, bu- building relationships with our kids. And so that was a big part of our success. But again, professionally, I wanted to continue to learn, you know, I'm getting up there in age. And um, so when this phone call came from coach long, it's, it's a great opportunity. One is because we share the same philosophies and how to run a program, treat people right, you know, work your tail off and try to outwork your opponents and outsmart them. And, and, and he surrounded himself with the unbelievable staff as well with, you know, coach McGarry who I've worked for in the past and, and Jeff Horton does a fantastic job with the offense. So, Putting myself and sitting in the office around these people just gives me a, an opportunity to continue to grow as a football coach. You gung ho to hit the recruiting trail once again? Oh yeah, I think that was one of my uh, favorite things to do is you know build relationships from nowhere. So, and you know, when you get, particularly I get to uh, potentially recruit San Diego, so you know getting to know all these coaches in, in a non-competitive fashion, but uh, you know they respect me. I hope and we've built relationships over the last nine years, so I'm looking forward to getting out there. Richard Sanchez joining us. You know, the thing about it is, Coach, uh, this is uh, we welcomed in the Aztecs as their flagship this year. It's, it's been a tremendous uh, working relationship with everybody at San Diego State. But the thing that Costa and I have really just been blown away with is just the quality of the kids involved in these programs. You know, we interview a lot of them, mostly seniors, but you can see the maturity level. Character is a big part of recruiting. I mean, so many times... You you know, the coach will say, ah, he's not the best character guy, but wow, what a player he is. Right. Character. You don't want to jeopardize your philosophy or exactly. your program. And that's exactly what uh, Coach Long has built around here. You know, we want to go out and find tough guys that want to work hard and, and obviously can buy into a system. And so you don't want to waver too far because when you start getting into, you know, the wow factor of it but uh, and don't do the, the due diligence with the research on his character, then obviously that's when things go astray. Coach, you you played at uh, Sweetwater High School. Did you play? Did you play for Gene Alem? I sure did. Did you ever lose a game there? Uh, yes, I did. My last uh, game of my senior year. Yes. Wow. Because at one point, Sweetwater was the gold standard. Yeah, they as, rattled off what thirty something wins as in a row, far. Right? You know, James Primus running back yep. went up to to UCLA. So are you bringing that right. same just basic hard nose kind of Sweetwater Saints work ethic to to the new job with State? Absolutely. That's what my dad told me to do is continue to work hard till you figure things out and problem solve and get people motivated around you to learn as well. So uh, Gene Haley did a fantastic job there. I always look up to him and, and still do today. And he, he was one of the first guys to contact me after he heard that I uh, got uh, the San Diego State job. So much respect to Gene Haley everything he's done for me in my career. And uh, obviously he instilled the same thing that Coach Log- Rocky Long does as well. I'm just curious, Coach, uh, you know, you played college ball, obviously, and now we have college ball in 2018. The world's obviously changed. Social media's changed. Are the kids that different? I mean, you've been coaching them at the high school level. You've been recruiting them. Are they that different? Or is it a different breed than the kind of kids that were around when you were playing the game? Oh, definitely a different kind of breed. A new millennium of kids today. Um, they sort of want to know more why. They ask more questions, whether it's not whether it's verbal or nonverbal. They definitely want to know the reasons why. And, and you got to take the time today to build relationships uh, in order to get your guys to work hard and, and to reach their potential. It's uh, one thing that uh, we we talked about today in my first position meeting was, you know, I have no clue who everybody is in the room, but we'll eventually get there because we're all after the same thing. Now, it's a matter of the trust factor. You know, why should they trust me? You know, the change over in position coaches and all those things take effect. But the reality is, you know, i got to put in the time to, to meet and greet and spend some time with each kid individually to, uh, to understand, you know, what motivates them and uh, how to coach them. So, but nonetheless, I'm going to coach them hard every single snap, and that was sort of my message to them this afternoon. Well, you've established that pipeline from Saints to San Diego State. Now you call Sean Doyle up at Cathedral Catholic. Start developing that relationship. <laughs> you start developing that pipeline. Let's get some dons. Do they still have talent over let's there? Get yeah. Some, yeah, let's yeah. get some dons wearing the red and black. Coach, congratulations on the uh, the new position with San Diego State. I know there's a lot of people in San Diego very excited for what not only what you did at Saints, but obviously what you're going to bring to the red and black. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. That's Richard Sanchez, new assistant coach, special team secondary.